Hi guys, Kid vs. World here. So, I have a light clip to my camera tripod, so that's why it's nice and bright, and it's nice. So, um, as you know, my Venus flytrap, I had in around December, I don't know, I think my last video was planting it. I never did an update, and I let it dry out when we went away for a week, it dried out on accident, and it died. So. Since it was winter here, we get snow and it's not warm enough, so it's hard to find that kind of stuff. Um, so it's springtime now, and I found this Venus flytrap, right? Just kind of a regular one. If you know what kind this is, and if it needs a dormancy, please tell me, because I don't want it to have it for like three years and it dies. So, anyways, so I found it at a at a grocery store for five ninety nine, so I had to get it. It's pretty big too. The traps are fairly large. So I was gonna feed it, I didn't know what to feed it, but I heard you can feed it freeze dried blood worms. So I don't have any. I have these ones and they come in like an ice cube and then you melt them and you feed it to like fish and stuff. So you thaw the ice cube. So I just had it sitting there for a while. I have a little, um, whatever you call it, bobby pin, whatever it's called, that you put in your hair. So I'm going to try to use this as tweezers. And I'm going to... got some on the package here. I'm going to start by putting only one in. Anyways, there it is. There. There it goes. Closes up. So since it can't... Since it, um, it doesn't move and Venus fly traps are made to eat stuff that's moving, you just supposedly give it couple of these squishes just till it seals completely and see that's pretty reasonably sealed so now let's do another one it's gonna try to get a close-up shot actually let's do this one here Focus. Okay, it's not going to focus. Not even like that. Okay, there we go. So now this one, I'll give it a little bit more. So that went pretty well. So I got a little chunk there. It's not closing. So that one's not closing. Let's do this one at the back. <laughs> Wouldn't let go. There. So that one closed. Now you do the same thing, squish it five or six times. That's to simulate the bug moving inside because it'll still, when you squish it, the sensors inside will still, like, move around and it'll think it's, um, there's something alive in it. So until it seals off completely, oops, like there. Okay, let me, uh, zoom out. Okay, 
till it seals off completely. Like on there. There's a bit of worm hanging out. And there. Then it's good. So we'll leave that for about a week, seven days. And I think that's how long it takes. So one of my other traps went off. I think it caught something in there. Yeah. Looks like there's a ladybug in there. I don't know if you can see, but see from the side? It's kind of bulged out and it looks like there's something orange in there. Yeah, it's a ladybug. So, I did a, light, a ladybug. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. So, anyways, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And enter the giveaway. I'll have all the instructions in the description to enter the giveaway. You are a winner every time. As long... <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm playing with my sock on the pin. As long as you get the ten people to subscribe you will get a free pack of seeds. I will send 50 seeds, about, maybe more, and you can choose whether you want to mix a different kinds of seeds, so I'll give you like five different kinds and ten of each, or whether you want one kind and 50 seeds of that. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video, and soon I'll be repotting this. So, see you later guys.